Hello. Oh, I've been wanting to talk to you. <laughs> My heart is beating so fast. Okay. I came across you in October of this year. This is going to feed off of what we were just talking about. I had a really big contrast that happened to me, which is what led me to you. I thought it was the worst time of my life, but it was the best. So here I am. I found you now. And what used to be really easy to me to float my cork, now that the contrast is passed, I keep going back. I don't want to. And what you were talking about works. So if I put my attention on something else, I the contrast seems to lessen, or I seem to get clarity about it. However, I feel my boat tip in the right direction. I get to that point. But it seems that I keep falling back into a place of utter fear. Well, the reason for that, when something has happened that is significant enough that a lot of momentum has happened around it, because law of attraction will keep giving you little pieces of it. Different things in your today remind you of it. And so it's easy to go there because it's still somewhat active in your experience. So there's a tendency to want to, we've been calling it relitigate it, go back and sort of play it over again. But all that does is keep it active longer and make it more likely to keep showing up. And so it is enough. And we want you to hear this too. It is enough. For you to just be consciously aware of what's happening. It is enough for you to understand. So if you say things to yourself like, well, it's logical that my mind would keep turning back to that because there was a lot of momentum there. And it's logical that my mind would turn back to that because it's the opposite end of something that I really want. And it's logical since every subject is two subjects for me to sometimes not mean to but instead of activating the end of the stick that is what i want to activate the end of the stick that is the absence of what i want that's just logical and what we're asking you to do is just be nice to yourself about it to acknowledge that it's logical but that you don't have to get carried away with it because after all just like all the things that you said to us when you first began it is the past and you do have the ability to think about other things the reason that time does have the potential of in human vernacular healing all wounds the reason that time does have the potential of doing that is because your now can distract you into higher vibrational places but if you keep relitigating it if you keep going back and playing it over and over in your mind then even though you're moving through time your vibration isn't getting higher and so not only does it stay with you, but other things like it now come into your current experience. So these are the things we want you to acknowledge. I'm aware my guidance system is working. I can tell when I'm doing that thing I'm doing that is not productive or good for me. And so knowledge is really powerful. Just understanding something. We really like it when Esther chooses the word understand. We like what you think it means and we like what it really means what's standing underneath in other words it's a premise or a basis of understanding and law of attraction is an understanding that you have and your emotional guidance system is a understanding that you have so it's good when you recognize that these feelings are not good for me therefore this thought is not a productive thought for me therefore it would be prudent for me at the times when it's most easy for me to think thoughts that lead me into another place we want to talk just for a moment about your waking time the time that you are awake and consciously flowing in a day how many hours a day would you say you're awake 16 so you're awake for 10 hours and now let's call those hours airtime or broadcast time so that broadcast time means whatever you are focused upon and therefore the vibration that you're practicing while you're focused upon it so it doesn't matter if it's past, present or future, doesn't matter whatever you're focused upon, you're practicing with your airtime, this broadcast vibration. And so if you are looking for positive aspects often, then your airtime is in this receiving mode. If you're looking for trouble, then your airtime is in this receiving mode. And you can tell by what the universe dishes up to you. Never mind the past. 
because the past is the past you practiced in the past and so you have some proclivity to choose a vibrational frequency based upon what you've done before but all of your power is right here and now and the important thing to know about your power being here and now is that you've got this cadre of non-physical energies that are always here that are flowing to you and through you so your airtime really should be if all these facts that we've given you are accurate and they are it should be easy for you because the majority of you is here and you know how to know that the majority of you is up here in these high frequencies because you have negative emotion your negative emotion is your indicator that you're not where most of you is you couldn't even feel negative emotion if your inner being were not up here the other day Esther said Abraham give it a break I feel terrible stop it <laughs> because she understands that emotion is the relativity between where we are and where she is and so when she doesn't feel good she was blaming us if you weren't up there in such a high flying place I wouldn't feel so bad can't you come down here and meet me about halfway can't we meet in overwhelmed now we're being playful with you about this because your inner being will never lower vibration but you don't want your inner being to ever lower vibration this knowledge is power isn't it so these things you know law of attraction abounds your vibration belongs up here that's where most of it is when you choose things based upon past experience you're gonna cause this tug of war between who you really are and what you're allowing to be but don't you love knowing that just know that just know that so then you start saying things to yourself like I don't have to feel bad like this you know my inner being is up here I don't have to feel bad like this I'm just making bad choices about what I think about and I'm gonna stop making those bad choices I'm doing better and better at not making those bad choices and I certainly don't have to relitigate I don't have to go back and tell those same stories about those same people about those same things it's like I'm deliberately holding myself apart from who I am and your inner being who loves you more than life itself because it is life itself your inner being loves you so much and yet will not give you the break of lowering vibration so that you can feel better you've got one option and one option only if you're gonna feel better you got to find some way of letting go of whatever it is that's holding your court away from where it belongs it's that simple there's no way around this so when someone's in a bad mood don't say oh you poor thing what happened say get away from me <laughs> I don't want to focus with you I don't want to talk with you I don't want you to rub off on me I don't want to even think about the things you're thinking about I don't even want to hear them I don't want to go down here I belong up here and mean it go screaming into the woods and in the same way that you would do that if you were high flying so you're high flying you're feeling really good you're all really good and somebody comes into the party and they've got things they want to tell you don't you want to say go away go somewhere else and don't you want to say to your own self I want to go away from that past experience I don't want to keep that active in my vibration enough with that that's done enough with that today where all of my power is I want to meet my inner being where my inner being is up here ba 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 I agree with all that and I understand it all my question is is I don't want to tell the story I don't tell the story actually at all Well, you're not telling the story but it's active in your vibration while you're talking about not telling the story yes I feel it I feel it all the time and well, stop it <laughs> you don't have to you don't understand if what we just said to you you say I understand you don't really understand until you have discovered the relief of being able to let go of something that doesn't feel good so how do I do that when it's about my physical body that I'm afraid of certain things how do I let that go I want to by wanting it so much that you're willing to focus on something that gives you relief until relief becomes the predominant vibration we know sometimes things happen that leave you shaken and leave you feeling vulnerable but you can't rest in that vibration you know too much about it so you say that was then this is now that was the result of the thoughts I was thinking then and what's coming next is the results of the thoughts that I'm thinking now and that was beneficial because it launched me into a place of understanding things that I didn't understand before how lovely is it to know what causes what isn't it nice to know that what you think matters and that you can tell by the way you feel what you're thinking and isn't it nice to then begin exercising some control over your thoughts you just have to take the path of least resistance it's like sometimes when Esther is watching some of the political stuff that feels so awful and all of those medical commercials she says I think I have a little gout <laughs> I think I might have some mesothemiomia 
I think I've got some of that too. In other words, you just can't watch that without wondering. And then they say, take this, but watch out for all that. And Esther says, ooh, yum, give me some of that. Give me some of that. I would love to have all of those side effects. And even though she thinks she's being playful about it, it's still active in her vibration while she's doing it. She would be so much better off to turn that television off and not watch that, not let that activate something within. Don't give it any airtime, you see. Pay attention to what you're giving airtime to. Because what you give airtime to is what causes you to rendezvous with what's in your vortex. You're new to this, but you're understanding everything that we're saying. Just be easy about it. Don't worry about what you're saying, but care about how you're feeling. And the faster that you catch a negative emotion and change the thought in the early subtle stages, the easier it will be. It's like the analogy that we've offered for so many years of Esther discovering those roads in San Francisco. She couldn't believe people drove on them. And we said, imagine your car sitting at the top of one of those hills. And just for fun, you think, I'll just take the car out of gear and release the parking brake and I'll just nudge it a little from behind and I'll just see what happens. You know what will happen. It'll start down the hill and it will gain momentum. It will get faster and faster and faster and faster. So before it even gets started, you think you're going to play. So you release the brake and you nudge it a little and it starts to move. And then you come to your senses and you get out in front of it and you just let it bump up against you and it stops because there was not much momentum. So it's easy to stop. But if you wouldn't want to be at the bottom of that hill trying to stop it. Never mind. I changed my mind. <laughs> Is it safe to say when I think a thought that, oh, if I do this, something terrible is going to happen to my physical apparatus and I feel that negative emotion, is it safe to say that my inner being does not think that way about that, that that thought is... When you say, I don't feel safe, your inner being would never say that. When you're using the word safety, you really mean vulnerable. But it is accurate to say that the negative emotion that you feel when you don't feel safe is what it feels like when you don't feel about the subject that you're thinking in the same way that your inner being thinks about it. That's always true. Your inner being has a different point of view than the point of view you have when you feel negative emotion. That's always true. So every time you have negative emotion, you can know that your inner being knows something different than what you are focused upon in that moment. Yes, 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 yes. But your inner being is not your only point of attraction. Your point of attraction is the combination between what your inner being knows and what you are allowing yourself to know. And so releasing those resistant thoughts and sort of clearing them off your path allows your vibration to consistently be in a higher place. And then the results of that are a different manifestation. And it's really wonderful. We always say we really like it when something happens in your life that causes you to finally begin doing the only thing that works anyway. Those were your words to us. Until something happened, you weren't asking in a strong way. And because that happened, now you're asking in a strong way. And that's what we meant earlier when we said, sometimes your inner being will actually call you into something that you would call a problem in order to get you to ask a question that will serve you in a stronger, more powerful way. And that's what this is all about. Now you understand, you see. Now yeah. you understand. I'm pretty hard-headed. It took a lot for me to go through to get here. <laughs> You're all hard-headed because law of attraction causes you to be hard-headed because you get what you think about. It's no wonder that you believe what you believe because a belief is just a thought that you continue to think. So you think the thought and then the thought manifests and then you look at the manifestation and then you say, see, and then you believe it more and then you observe what's been manifested. Law of attraction is your best friend and your worst enemy because law of attraction brings to you what you are consistently thinking about. But you have a lot of leeway, you see. Don't let anything worry you. Understand. Just understand. Don't you feel like you understand? Do you know that you create your own reality? Do you understand that your thoughts are dynamic and attractive in nature? Do you understand that there's no exclusion in this universe? That you can't say no to something without saying yes to it? No means yes, because attention to it means yes. Do you know that you have a guidance system? Do you know what it is? Do you know why you feel emotion? Do you understand that your emotion is the information about the two relative aspects of your being, your inner being's vibration and your vibration equal your emotion? So when your inner being has an opinion about your wonderful life and you share in the moment that wonderful opinion about your wonderful life, you feel elation. But when your inner being knows about your wonderful life and you are questioning your wonderful life, you feel terrible because you are disallowing this strong force 
from being realized by you in the moment. Ooh, ooh. Realization of positive emotion means tuned in, tapped in, turned on. Nice to know. We think this is a really good time for a segment of refreshment. Mm -hmm.